This is Jonathan Agger, fifth Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Rylan Charlton, the pint sized powerhouse, taking on Adam Azim uh, next Sunday um, in Ali Pali. Rylan, it feels like a long time coming this fight. I don't know if you feel that way, but you and Azim have been talked about for probably the best part of the year. Um, have, has it always been you wanting it and him wanting it? How would you sum this up? Well, I would say I've always wanted this, um, and I mean, they kept using my name in a lot of interviews and stuff, so I've done a few of them call outs. I never normally do. But done a few of them call outs and it kept taking ages to get done and then it finally got done. So yeah, here we are. Obviously, um, you know, Adam is sort of the, the big name prospect that everyone's talking about. They're building him up on Sky and Boxer, but you've been around the block, you've got the experience. What do you make of his career so far? I mean, he's looking good, yeah, he is looking good, but against very average opponents. Uh, I feel like I feel like they're pushing him quite a lot, and they're pushing him um, very hard to become the youngest world champion and all this. And I think they need to slow down. But here they are; they've uh, chosen me uh, as his first step up, and um, yeah, I I'm glad they've chosen me. Do you take it as a compliment that they've chosen you for, as you say, this this step up in competition? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm like looks like I'm kind of used as um, the stepping stone in the game. They're using me as a stepping stone. Let's face it, and um, the underdog and all that um, but I'm glad they've used me as the stepping stone because uh, I'm only just coming into my own and um, yeah this is a fight that's going to be the stepping stone for me to propel my um, my uh, career so yeah I'm buzzing for it Adam's blasted everyone out inside one or two rounds in sort of his opening six fights um, what do you think he you bring that maybe he hasn't seen yet um, well, for a start, I'm, I'm coming to have a, a to win a fight, and uh, everyone else he's fought. I mean, they're, they're sort of not very good opponents, let's face it, and they uh, all run off straight away, and that's not my style. Um, and I've had a, a good fight camp for this. They've given me good notice, which is uh, probably the biggest mistake they could have done. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very confident for this. You obviously um, came to prominence when you beat Joe Laws and then you had a good fight with Mark who dropped him. Obviously the fight didn't go your way but do you feel like you've sort of had that experience and that's going to pay off come next Sunday? Yeah, 100%. I've had the experience. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I beat Joe Laws at welterweight, knocked him out, um, dropped Florian Marku at welterweight um, and I, I took punches from Florian Marku. So I've got a chin, um, I've got my power still, carry it all the way up to welterweight so um, yeah, this is the I've got a hell of a lot of experience, and he's he's only really this year had four fights, has he? I think, and stopped them all in the first round. There's no experience there. Like, how's he going to be in round six? How's he going to be in round eight? Uh, how's how's he going to take a shot? Like, no one knows. So there's a lot of ways to expose him. And, yeah. The thing is, though, he's got this uh, sort of power and in this really quick hands. Do you think you've ever been in with anyone with that kind of speed of hand? Yeah, I, I think I have. I could cope with speed. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, the sparring I've had, I've had the top sparring, I've sparred a lot of top pros and they're very speedy. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And um, how do you win this fight in your opinion? Like knockout or do you think points? I think knockout, yeah. I think he'll quit. Wow. What makes you think that? Just things you've seen or just your feeling you've got going into the fight? Things that things I've seen and, and it's the big feeling I've got, yeah. Okay. Uh, Rylan, uh, thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans. Any message to everyone tuning in next week? Uh, thanks everyone for, for all the support and uh, do not miss this fight. Rylan, thanks very much. Thanks.